So here we are at the Nordic Fab Lab Bootcamp 2017. It's a meeting we have one week every year where the goal is to strengthen collaboration in the Fab Lab network in the Nordic countries and to train the skills of individual Fab Lab managers. The machine you see here printing is a machine made by machine. It means a turbine here was designed a machine has used a 3D printer to 3D print all the parts of this 3D printing machine. And what is special about this machine is that it can print parts much larger than itself and it has a very different approach to uh, a motion system. So when you want to print something that can move around, what is difficult is to create linear motion with the printer. So instead he has designed a system with strings like you can see here. So this 3D printed gearbox is moving that print head around <laughs> and pulling and, pu and, and giving on the strings to move the print head around. And right now we're calibrating the, the start print height so you see the first layer of filament being deposited. So all these parts have been 3D printed. The turbine forgot some parts. So these parts you can see down here, the white parts, we made on another machine that we made ourselves, which is a scene simulating machine. So these white parts holding the extruder was made by a sibling machine. Hmm. Now that background noise that you can hear behind us is coming from that machine, so follow me. We are now at uh, Fab Lab Lingen, the first Fab Lab in Europe that's run by Håkon Carlsen Union. And uh, in a way it's been uh, maybe the most important training ground in the beginning for skills in the Fab Lab network. So here we have another machine made by machine in the Fab Lab. This is a CNC mill that has been CNC mill. And you know, traditionally when people build their own machines, they make parts that the core vitamins for creating motion, the drive system and the linear axis, is, they buy and you make the casing around. And here we, we have fabricating, fabricated the linear bearings ourselves. The linear guides, I mean, and the glide uh, bearings we made and the rack and pinion has been made. And it's pretty much only the motors and the cables we didn't make ourselves. And right now, this machine is chewing through four and a half millimeters of aluminium, which is quite exciting because it shows that by making parts in aluminium, we can reproduce this machine. And not only can we do aluminium parts, but we do circuit boards. This is the Fab ISP board, a Fab Lab Classic, with tiny, tiny traces. So this has been done with a 164-inch milling bit. So if you come a little bit closer, you can see how it's chewing through. So we need to clear some chips. So if you look inside here, you see we're using a, a high-speed milling bit. So the machine is moving in circular motion, so it's getting deep, but a little bit sideways at a time. And like this, we can cut with this self-made machine with weak motors, we can cut very hard materials like aluminium. Now, all of these machines are open source. It means that you are welcome to download and make and improve these machines. The description and link you can find below. And we hope you will help us and build on the knowledge that we have here at the bootcamp.